Here we are, we're back at the yard. That trailer right there, it needs the cables replaced on the ramp door. I have never ever done this before, so this is not an instructional video. This is just me taking you along on an everyday chore. Not every day, thank God it's not every day. But just a chore of a landscaping business. All right, so let me get the door open and I'll show you why and what happened. What had happened is the cable on this side here, this pulley loosened up. The cable jumped, it kinked the cable, it wouldn't wrap up on the pulley anymore. So it just got, the cable was removed. So this side has been handling, this side here is fine. This one never slipped. The cable though has been handling all the pressure of this door probably for about a year. And then the other day when we were out here, I was putting it up and I noticed it's about to break. The cable's screwed up, the nut's about to pull through the metal bracket. So I have washers, I bought washers, I put new, new hardware and new cables. So what I'm gonna do is put the other cable over here on that wheel get it attached, use the door to close it most of the way to get the tension off the cables. And then up in here, up here, this piece here, use three eighths extensions for sockets and you take the tension off. And once I get the tension off, I'm gonna loosen these bolts here that hold the wheel onto the shaft tight. I'm going to loosen these up and then make my cables have equal pressure when the door is most of the way up. The door will be closed or open just about this much, holding a little bit of pressure on the cable, but nothing bad. So if it has equal amount of tension, we'll be good. And then I can take my extensions out of here, release the pressure on this, and hopefully it'll work. Well, you know, it all sounds good in theory. All right, so what I've done, you can't really tell, but I hooked the cable is into the pulley. It comes around from the underneath and then hooks up out there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hook it up down there and then I'll loosen up these and get a little bit of pressure on them so there's not a lot of ton of slack in there. Not a lot of ton. What kind of English is that? All right, let's do this. Let's just bolt this cable up. I got new hardware, my wrenches, my bolts. I'm just gonna set you down. Oh, here's my cable. Put a washer on the outside so it can't pull through this bracket too hard like the other side's going. And then I'm sticking a washer on this side as well. And these are nylon nuts. These are nylon nuts. Um, so they shouldn't loosen. Shouldn't be the uh, word here of the day. I didn't feel like pulling out my socket set. If I walk into the truck. All right, that's installed. But now that we have that installed, you see I have all this slack. So now what I have to do is go in there, loosen it up, and wind up the slack. See you in there.
It's got two square head bolts that screw in and lock it to the shaft. There's one. I might have to put the camera down and do this and rotate this. Oh, let's see what happens. All right, I was able to take the extension out and sneak it up in here. If I couldn't get it up in there, it was no big deal. I would have just rotated the shaft. So that's loose. Now I'm gonna take the tension out of the cable. Maybe. Ha <laughs> Maybe not. Like I said, it's all new to me. No place to put the tools. <clears throat> All right, we'll just take it off. I can roll with that. Winding it up, winding it up. Trying to keep the pressure on it. The spacing for the cable right here is about equal on the other side too. It's all those tracks. I'm gonna tighten it right there and start with that. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. I don't want any slack in this cable so it can jump over this pulley. before not instructional do it at your own risk all right now I want to close the door and see how the tension is on the cable see if it's equal which it's not this one has a hell of a lot more slack in it but we'll deal with that once the door is up change my mind on that one what I did was I took some pressure off of the spring, took some pressure off of this cable over here. Remember, this is the good cable. So this one has a lot of pressure off of it. This one has developed some more slack. So I'm gonna go back up here and adjust that wheel again. All right, that worked. This one has a good amount of tension on it. This one here has tension on it. So what I'm gonna do now, this side is pretty well set. I'm going to take this cable off because of that sketchy end down there. I was not going to film replacing this side cable, but when I saw the bolt, I figured, hell, let me share this with you all. Trying to get this thing to sit up properly. Hold on, I gotta set this camera up. Oh my goodness. Give me a second. Sorry guys. Sorry everyone. I'll put it down here. That should work. It doesn't work. I'll zoom in on it. I think you got it. Alright, wait until you see the condition of this one. Oof. I am so glad I saw this. Fixing to be pretty darn dangerous. I know the right tool for the right job. This is not it. OK, 
Okay, the plastic just crumbled right out of there. So it could have pulled right over the nut. And also, can you see this? Can you see how wore out that bolt is? Ooh, I got lucky. So because of this wallowed out hole, is wallow a word? Wallow might be a word. Anyway, that expanded hole, I got boxers. Oh, I forgot the cable. Hold on. Another washer and the nut. That's not gonna pull through. Hmm. A little safer. Alright, well you don't have to watch me do this. I'll hook you back up when this cable is ready to be adjusted. Cable just hooks into a little slot back here. Now I'm gonna wind it up and tighten it on down. Try to get as much pressure as the other side has. Southern side has. Yeah, I'm hot. I can't even talk. measurement right here finger width that's what it was earlier that camera didn't look like it was aimed right I guess we'll find out okay I'm gonna put as much pressure as I can on it to preload it that's about all I got Close to the other side. That's the big test would be when we shut the door. Come in and see how much slack there's in there. Never know how much to tighten these things up. I'm looking for stripping the threads out. Alright, that's it. Now, I'm going to release the tension. I hope you can see it alright. It's hard for me to tell. My phone's dead. I can't look at the GoPro app. I'm going to take the tension off of this right here. As soon as I find another extension. Maybe the extension's good. There's no. All it is, put that in there. Push. Pull that out. And release the tension. That's all it is. No big scary thing. I'm gonna leave you in here. I'm gonna go shut the door. Got tension there. Tension there. Fingers are crossed. I know it just got dark in here. I'm sleeping in the front door. It says low light conditions is good. What do you think? Oh yeah, it is pretty good. Tight.
This one is not tight. So now I have to loosen the left one or right from the outside. Take the slack up on this. All right, we'll get it. I'll get it. It's kind of dark in here, so I'm gonna. Shut you off. Okay, finally got it. This one, uh, I wish it would get lighter. Hold on, I changed the ISO settings. Hold on. Let's try that. So anyway, this one, sounds like that has tension on it. This one has tension on it. They all have good placement, good wrappings. I know it's dark in here, but I'm gonna go outside, let's open the door. I'm so confident in this, I'm even taking the tools out of here. Ooh, man, it is hot in this trailer. All right. Oh, fresh air. Okay. That right there is Bella, by the way. Bella. Oh, here's Daisy. Daisy rules the roost. Right? Right? All right. The door is down equally on both sides. Let's play the guitar on the strings. If you like to have about equal pressure. Now I'm gonna go back up and make sure, oh, it's hitting over here. Make sure it wraps up okay over here. God dang it, it's hitting right here. Looks like I gotta go inside and do a little bit more adjusting. Got my finger here. No finger here. Back to the drawing board. That's what I get for taking the tools out. A lot of sweat later. It's hot inside there. A lot of sweat later. Probably about five or six adjustments. We got it. It winds up nicely on that pulley. It winds up nicely on this pulley. We have good tension. Tension here. Tension here. And then when we close it up, <coughs> I'm watching these pulleys, how it winds up. Come over this side. It's winding up on the pulleys beautifully. So, we are good to go. Alright. Not bad for a hot Saturday afternoon project. And this time, I did leave my tools in the trailer. Let's get the hell out of here. Have a beer and enjoy the rest of this Saturday. All right, y'all, peace out. Thank you. Please hit that subscribe button down there. Tell your friends about us. Let's help me build this channel. Cold one. This channel is not brought to you by Bud or Bud Light, but hey, all options are open. Have a great weekend, y'all.